Good evening, sneakerheads. Good evening, good evening, good evening. Um, first of all, I just want to apologize. Man's been out of action. Um, struck down hard with this dirty flu bug, man. Um, and it had me for a hot minute. But I'm bizzack. Delivery day. Delivery day, um, happy to bring you another unboxing today. Um, I'm, I'm gassed about this one. The shelf says it all, you know what's good. Straight to business, straight to biz. I hope everyone's well, fine and dandy. Um, Let's get this packaging off. Let's get this packaging off. Bigger Offspring. Trusty friends down at Offspring. Um, it's always nice to get the W from the guys, man. Um, and looking at this one, it's um, a bit more difficult to obtain than I um, initially presumed. Stop the talking, let's just get straight into the box. All right, get rid of that momentarily. We've got a plain red box. Who came for the box slide? <laughs> Boom, got the long run up today. Yes, it's an Air Max One. As you would presume, um, let me show you the label real quick. It's a Nike Air Max One PRM Premium Soft Grey Neutral Grey. There's some big clues. You must know what this is. Um, release date for this one was Friday just gone, the 24th of February. Let me open my pair up and have a butcher's. Whew. Whew. There we have it. The Air Max One Crep Soft Grey. Let's brush some few little blemishes off there. Ooh, these are tasty. A little bit of paper there from the packaging. Let's get both of them out. Wow! <laughs> Oi! Oi! Strike two. Bow, 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 where do I begin? Now, I'm glad to have these in hand. Um, like I say, I think these are a bit more difficult to get than I um, initially uh, presumed or thought. Um, release Friday the 24th of February. I happened to be away at the time, um, but Thankfully, them guys down at Offspring done a midnight release. So I was able to jump in on that um, and secure my pair before I went anywhere. Do you get what I'm saying? And it felt good to get that notification, confirmation. Yeah, yeah, your thing's there. Um, as you can see by the shelf, right? I'm going to go into the shoe in just one moment, I promise you. But as you can see by the shelf, I like to do things in packs man and uh <laughs> this one is no exception oh, that's a fabulous a fabulous air max one that but look at that man next to the other crep there the crep hemp let's get into this let's let's get into this i'm not gonna spoil up my show we're gonna talk about the shoe let's talk about the shoe right okay so you must want to up close Look at these bad boys. Let me show you this one. So, you see here we have a soft grey upper. As you can see from all these lines and blemishes that it's that 
premium suede that if you brush it one way, it looks one color, brush it the other, it's another. It's, it's, it's a very lush, very, very lush suede. The color, the gray color here, again in that beautiful suede. The tongue, the tongue is like a canvas material, the gray tongue, gray laces, of course. Nothing on the tips, just regular gray laces. Bit more cotton feel than normal. Um, tongue tab, flat gray with just the Nike Air Max. I don't know if it's slightly darker gray or just where it's printed on there, it just stands out a little bit. The swoosh, very tumbled leather swoosh. Now, I didn't know if that was white, but as I got it out of the box, it looks like a very, very light blue. It could be my eyes, because on the camera now it's looking quite white. <laughs> But it looked quite like a very light blue as I got it out of the box. The booty is very nice. Just with those premium materials. And then just, you know, a subtle Nike air with the swoosh and the regular font. It's just lovely. Light grey, dark grey, medium grey. To me... The colours just work so nicely. Um, I know we all love a mesh toe box. Um, but this canvas toe box seems to just work for me. With this colour palette and this grown-up adult version of an Air Max one. Um, we've got... It's that sale midsole again. You know, we saw a lot of that last year. Um, and it's like they're still going with that. And then the main feature, ladies and gentlemen, obviously that crepe um, outer sole, rather than the regular waffle print that you get, you know? So that's the big, that's the big feature, the, the, the waffle sole. I call it the Clark's sole because that's really what it reminds me of. You know, that's the crepe hemp from last September. Um, and to, for me, the two had to go together. Clear air unit there, just with the sail inners. It's a clear air unit. I know that one's got the minty, almost Tiffany colour. Hints on that one, but what a... I'm calling it a pack. It's not It's not officially a pack, but I'm calling it a pack. You know, it's come out very soon in conjunction with that, the same crep hemp sole. I'm calling it a pack. You know, this one is obviously, it's, it's a very clean colorway, but to me, it's just a bit more wearable than the, the crep hemp. That's, I love that woven toe box on the, on the crep hemp though. More of a summer shoe, I would say. And this one, you're rocking that all seasons. Do you get what I mean? Um, so many Air Max ones coming out. Obviously, we had the 35 year anniversary, but there's so many Air Max ones coming out this year. And if I'm honest with you, this one crept up on me. <laughs> you know what I've done there? Crept up on me. Um, but yeah, I didn't actually see this one coming. And when it dropped, I just, I had to have it. I, I, I saw it a couple of days, maybe a week tops before it was actually dropped. But there wasn't a long, you know, announcement like we're used to seeing on some of these great Air Max ones. Um, 2004 was obviously the original Crep Hemp. Um, then they re-released it last year. I've got a big, I'm gonna own up to something quite major here. There was two Air Max Ones um, in 2018. One was called, uh, it was a wheat, wheat, with a little pink, I don't know if it's a wheat gold or a wheat salmon, wheat, wheat gold. I'm gonna put a picture up because you will, if you're into your Air Max Ones, you will recognize the shoe. And there was a blue one as well. 
and I, I'm very familiar with the shoe, but I did not realise that they had this same crep hemp sole. I don't know what I've been looking at, where I was, I must have been in a dark cupboard somewhere, but I did not know it had the sole, man. And that gives me like, to, to be honest, that's two pairs that I skipped on that I really should have in the collection. So, you know, that's a little problem I've got on board now. Um, so yeah, man, it's been, it's been a pleasure to get these ones out and open. What a lovely pair. The materials are fabulous. Um, like I say, when these dropped on Friday, I happened to be in Amsterdam. Woohoo! Um, yeah, and I went to the Patter store, just happened to roll through the Patter store, and so many things on shelf in the Patter store. They had these, so I managed to actually have a look at the pair, not my pair, at a pair, before my ones arrived and um i was I, I knew immediately that the materials on these were were definitely premium you know so yeah i was lucky to have these in hand already saw what i was dealing with and very very glad i copped i might change these laces i'm not really a fan of the the very uh cottony feel lace i might put and i think a lighter color lace a white lace to match the swoosh i think might actually look quite nice in this pair do you know what i mean but um yeah man um they looked amazing in hand when i had them over there and my pair is just as good man the quality on these are, are very very good man um so yeah we're gonna see a lot of air max ones now marches marches around the corner it's it's right here um yeah so we're gonna see it's air max month you know, we're going to see a lot of things going on, you know. Um, I've been trying to stick to one a month this year. You know, I went crazy last year with my with my purchases. And this year, I'm trying to slow it down just a little bit. And I'm thinking one a month is acceptable. Um, January was okay. I just managed to, I got the um, Jordan 4 Seafoam. It was okay of a month, you know. It wasn't too testing. Then February came and there was one and few things. Um... This is my pair, obviously, for February. And now we got March around the corner. I'm thinking that might break me. Do you get what I'm saying? March is going to be a mad one. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I will try to remain strong. Um, let's do a crep check for today. Let's do a crep check for today. Probably rambled on a bit too much already. You know, I mentioned I was in Amsterdam, so it was it was only correct that I brought these to the table, man. Um, yeah, I was going to bring them with me, but the weather wasn't looking too great. So I decided against it. And um, yeah, we'll keep these ones mint. It's one of uh, my favourites, this pack, the London and the Amsterdams. But guys, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for bearing with me and my rambling. Um... I will see you again real, real soon. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, share all that lovely, beautiful stuff. And yeah, man, I'll see you again real soon.